Scoob on the way back. I'm Eric. I'm Rick. Uh, Eric. I had to burp. No! <laughs> what happened last time on Brooklyn Nine? I, I had to burp. Um, I'm sorry. Last time, I had to burp. <laughs> um, last Jimmy time on Brooklyn Nine Nine was Jimmy Jack Games. The, the, yeah, the Olympics things yep. they had, right? Um, yes. We also have a new drug called Giggle Pig, and we have formed a task force that has been said it needs to be effective, or uh, the new Chief Wunsch, or Chief, whatever she is, Wunsch is going to be out to get Holt. Headed by Rosa, this task force as well. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm excited to do it. Uh, just remember, for people, anybody that's new, I have seen most of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, so these guys are the ones you want to see the reaction. I'm just here because it's fun. Giggle pig! And I'm pretty. No. Ah! He-Man. Master of the Universe! How does he not Stewart. know He-Man? He-Man, Master of the Universe! <gasps> I've got it! Gay Robin Hood! Yes! Oh my How's that Robin Hood? <laughs> it is hair! It's like, fucking with him. <laughs> I love his hair flying around there. I will do your paperwork for a week, but if you fail, you will give me five weeks of overtime for free. Correct. <laughs> I'm doing a cost-benefit analysis in my head. The benefits <laughs> outweigh the costs. We have reached an accord. The <laughs> cost-benefits analysis. No problem. Just come back and help us when you're done. Thank you. I'll leave you guys with this. Wendell plus Wendell equals Toodles! <laughs> Stupid. Seriously, Sarge? Damn. Just let her go. She got me. You've all been given a specific role and a code name. Rosa, you're the dagger. Sarge, the hammer. Amy, the hall monitor. Yeah, suck it. Scully and Hitchcock, I'm just gonna call you your real name so you don't get confused. Smart. What? And we'll <laughs> Once there, fingers, loving that code name, will remove the captain's watch and replace it with this replica watch. Oh, that is a very dead dove. Ah! What? Why? Because his magician. We got a wallet, Whoa, four watches, some keys, and a bag. <laughs> but where's the smoked turkey? Check your breast pocket. Where's <laughs> 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 the smoked turkey? Hitchcock, Scully! What the hell? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> now, the clock is tagged. It's time to drop a deuce. <laughs> what is going on? Peralta, that's enough. Sir, sir. On behalf of the 99, I apologize. Fingers has grabbed the package. If you need anything, Please contact me. That's the, the fake one, right? Oh, the fake one. Yeah. Oh, but it's on the wrong way! I'm sorry. <clears throat> I love how he knew the guy was going to be. This you're going to be at midnight when you realize you've lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> that whole scene was uh -huh. ridiculous. McCreary left a package for me. Yeah, it's here. Yes, sir. It's not going to be the watch. It's going to be like a, a finger. He's going to give him a finger. Thanks for the watch. Oh, no! Now he's gonna go rest his dude. Captain's watch. Breaking news. There's been a terrible development. <laughs> oh, his phone! Good call. Media blackout. Now he's gonna go find uh, this guy and arrest him. I'd like to ask a favor. Can we please press pause on this bet for 10 minutes? Sure. Or we could press fast forward and I could watch you talk like a chipmunk. Peralta! I'm doing this apartment there! Yes, that would be very funny. How do you ruin everything? <laughs> How do you ruin everything? <laughs> Be cool, Holt's watching. Pretend I just said something really funny. <laughs> I've been practicing my dance moves. Push it. Push it real. Okay. My dance troupe Florgasm is performing tonight in the Booty Shake Grand Prix. Gina! I defended you, and your urgent matter was just practicing for some stupid dance show? Look, I can't help it if my life is literally a step-up movie. Then I suggest you think of this moment as the montage where you buckle down and take your job seriously so your boss doesn't kill you. Fine. Then I suggest you figure out how to turn on all these sprinklers, because I'm about to tell a story. What? Flash dance? 
$120 and my lucky $2 bill that I found on my first day of kindergarten. Oh, okay, so that's $122. And I want your shoes. Can I please have the watch now? You already have it. You had it all along. What? What are you talking about? I put it in the glove compartment of your car. I didn't want to walk around with a stolen police captain's watch. I'm not an idiot. Great. Let's get back to the precinct. You red socks. Check your car? No, what? Uh, are you kidding me? Syringe. You need to park in the fire hydrant. Stupid fire department. Oh, how about this? Yes, <laughs> <What the> hell? <laughs> he said that he just stepped on broken glass in a syringe. What? What's up, the drifting? Just fucking one thing after another. Charles, how come you're so much slower than a car? <laughs> I'm just trying not to jostle you too much. Julius, cop, coming through. Uh, what's with all these bears? Ciao, Wait, where are you? Come on. Uh, what the hell is that? Next week. What are they doing? Get on board. Good idea, Boyle. What the hell? <laughs> Why are they attacking them? New York is crazy at home. I won't stop the party, but I do need the bus. All right. It's Halloween. I love that. Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> I'm gonna dance with you tonight. I'm not oh, gonna let those what? Losers punish you for doing something good. School is cool. That's why it rhymes. Terry, you are the best. <laughs> I can't wait to see Ted Cruz dance. It's yeah, so, it's, it's always good. good. Feel bad? Oh uh, yeah, no. sure do. Oh no! Oh, my badge. I can't do nothing for you. Please don't touch the don't, 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 <laughs> He's so don't, slow. Don't, just gonna give up on this and head straight home without trying anything else. Where's Boyle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boyle! Oh, no! Wait, why? No. I thought the two of them were the him kind of There's no way they're gonna crush it, right? <laughs> there is a tiny chance I may not win this bet. <laughs> no. This one's a fake. What? No. What? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> you played me. Like France Blueheim plays <laughs> a flute. But how? I've been planning this thing for three months. I know, but I've been planning it for a year. <laughs> what? And last Halloween, you're eight minutes late. You're 14 minutes late. You're three minutes early. In Chicago. <laughs> you annoyed me into stealing it. Exactly. Annoyed now you had a party while you met with McCreary, Santiago placed a fire. Oh my god! Which she then towed away. She now towed it away? She towed it. Charles out of the equation. Scully. What? And Hitchcock. He can't get his helmet off. How are they how are they so good at something? Jake, party bus! Look at him. <laughs> New boy will never knowingly betray me. <laughs> who is who is the? It was him. Rosa. It was him all along. Nancy I distracted you as a mysterious no, no, Rosa. Stole your badge on Halloween. It was, <laughs> it was you in the mask, you sly son of a bitch. Here we go. One second. <laughs> you are an amazing police captain slash genius. But be warned. I started planning next year's heist just this minute. Good. Then you're only three months behind. <laughs> Sick son of a bitch. <laughs> now get your game face on, Sarge. It's time to dance. Uh, you see forget it. your moves, just rip your cape off and throw me up in the air like a pizza. <laughs> Put your hands together for the dance duo, Mr. and Mrs. Terry Jeffers. Mr. and Mrs. I did not agree to that name. Salt and pepper. <laughs> nah. Uh. The dance didn't, it wasn't what I was hoping for, but the rest Ooh. was good. It turned around real quick. When we watch last season's Halloween episode, I just couldn't help but think about this episode so much in my head. Dude, it was like, damn, this whole plan is so ridiculous. I can't believe they're making this work. Yeah. He got his watch. 
And I just, yeah, like Rick said, I love the turnaround when he's like, I planned it that night. Yeah. Like, a year in the making. Well, I'm going to start planning this minute. You are 13 minutes late. You you're are only, five minutes late. You'll only be three months behind. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, it was all pretty good up to that point, but it was a lot like last year. Yeah. And... Like, you think it's going some way, but, and then, like, oh, they've seeded all those things, you know? Like, me knowing it, I was like, are these guys going to, like, catch that, like, you were like... What are these costumes? Why are these bears attacking him? It makes no sense. You know? Like, and there are so many. Like getting arrested for attacking the And cow. then, yeah. Like, me knowing it's Rosa as the, the, like, let's dance. And then it's Holt going, oh, you should go back and hear him. Because I, I, was, I was sitting well, here listening going, like. When they said Halloween, like, man, that voice sounds so familiar. Who is yeah. that voice? The the girl, I didn't I didn't pay. At yeah. first, I was like, could that be Santiago? I was like, ah, oh, that doesn't make any sense. And then when the guy was like, Halloween, like, who's that voice? I know that voice from something. Mm-hmm. So like that, and then like when he was breaking into the place, like, where the hell did Boyle go? Like he's yeah. just been, he's just gone. Terry just cracked him and ran <laughs> off. <laughs> I love the, the <sighs> Jake party bus toot toot. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that was so good. Audio and stuff. The the just the sheer amount of like vindictive planning he did throughout the year is just the best. It's amazing. It's amazing. Well, and just seating it, like, seating it. You know the watch. I know. I know. It's just so like, funny. Every single day, like, he was late and making sure he saw the watch. Yeah. It was all so good. Yeah. And I don't even know if really, if it's a death watch, you know? Yeah. Like, he could have made that up to push him to want to find it. To have. push him to go meet up with McCreary and the fire and all that happening, you know? it might That might have been a total lie. I love how it... I, I love the fire hydrant too. Like it guarantees it gets towed, you know, because they're like, oh, I just he just assumes that he he parked there, you know. Yeah. And he blames the fire, the fire department. Yeah, man. It just it was it's such a fun way to watch after you you know the reveal has happened too, because I'm like, oh yeah, they're doing this really well, like just seating these things. Ugh. Well, I'm glad I, I feel justified in being like, what the hell's going on? This I makes no you. sense. Yeah, that was the closest part where I felt like, I don't think I should have to divert. Like, sometimes, you know, like, there was an episode of Lost Me and Rick did where I kind of, like, div- like, diverted his attention for a second, you know? So, makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, no. I mean, I did that in Doctor Who different times, too, yeah. or something. Hell, I had one where, like, I knew titles were going to come up, and we started talking, and everyone was looking away when a title sequence came up. So, mm-hmm. like, no one saw a name, you sure, know? Sure, gotcha. Like, uh, but yeah, no, it was just, there was that, and then the bus didn't get me. I was fine with the bus. The voice, I was like, the voice sounds familiar, but I couldn't pinpoint who exactly mm-hmm. it was. And then whenever he was breaking into the impound lot, I'm like, where the hell's Boyle? He would have his badge. He would be able yeah. to get, get it out. But I'm like, And you know Jake loves his car. Like, he was thinking his car was going to be destroyed. Well, yeah, and then I'm like, there's no way they're going to crush it for what? Yeah. Why would they be crushing it? I figured there would be no way he'd get hope twice in a row, but I, yeah, I didn't see it coming. Uh, I loved how he just locked himself in his office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, they they froze his shit, and yeah. broke it, tossed it in his smoker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the be- the best thing is that everybody other than Charles, who he predicted would never actually betray him, like everybody was playing double agent. Yeah, because they all were already in on in. So he's probably just like, whatever he wants you to do, do. I've already dealt with it. And then he paid McCreary off. To give him his watch back. Yeah. I love when he's like, this watch is my watch. This is a fake. Yeah. You know? It's like, so good, what? Man. Boyle was still out $120, and he still had his shoes, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. I don't think and his, his lucky $2 bill he found when he was in kindergarten. Dude, that moment there, whenever he's like, I got $120, and oh, my lucky $2 bill that I got from kindergarten. He goes, that's $122. And Boyle's like, oh. he's, like he's like, he's the best He friend. was hoping, he's like looking like, come on, Jake. Oh, man, all he's right, here you go. You know, like, his face in that moment was so yeah. good because he's like being hopeful his friend will say that's 120 dollars i also love the kind of thing where it's like jake would definitely stoop so low as to work with a known criminal but holt would but holt wouldn't do that but holt knows jake would so he brings that into his so he's working with a known criminal and like a second layer you know it's just really funny now you gotta watch for the next year see what gets planned Ahead of time. I wonder if watching through this last season, if he brings attention to that watch at all through the series. Mm -hmm. I know the first season he got onto him about being late a lot. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember the watch. Well, like he did the tie, you know, and every once in a while we see Jake wearing a tie now when he wouldn't do that before and stuff. But it it would have been interesting if, like, if they had this planned. Yeah. And through the season you saw, Mm -hmm. like, since the last Halloween episode, like, 
you're late, and he's pointing to his watch or some different things. When we uh, when we watched last season's Halloween, I said this is the start of my you know of, of the Halloween episodes, which are always something special. And now you guys know why they're so special. Because from here on, it's one, it's one. There's no guarantee. Like I agree with Rick. Like well, in the next one, Holton needs to win. You know. So I, I remember watching this, being like, there's got to be something because Jake won so early, and then you're thinking, oh okay, well he just went too hard and got in trouble. But then there's a turnaround. Okay, yeah. well now it's one one. There's no telling what the next one is. Before, yeah, kind of what I thought was like, okay, well, Jake got it, and then it's like his plan backfired. Yeah. He went too far with this, and now he's lost his watch. That means a lot to hold. Yeah, and he's not going to get it back or something mm-hmm. like that. And there's going to be repercussions for that. But I'm like, will there be a happy resolve somehow in the yeah. end though? Because I mean, that sucks for Holt. Unless Holt captures them and gets it yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> or something. And the, even the first scene when they're talking about making the bet, like, Holt cons him into, into going giving, further. Going so far, and then he finally gets what he wants and he <laughs> turns his head. He's it's kidding. like, five, how far can I push him? You know? Even though he already had all this planned for the debt. A double, triple, quadruple. Well, and it's great too because he never, like, lied to him. Yeah. Because we already know his lying tick. Yep. The thing he does with his mouth. But he never really lied to what him. What was it like? It, it's it's this it's that's really right. quick, that, and that was there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it, but the, I saw one commenter saying that in a later episode after that scene, there's a thing where Holt lies. I think to the guy that's going to be running against him for president of that organization, and he says something, and then you see him go and do the tech. So it they didn't kept happen. Uh, they kept it alive when he was posing as like he was going along. Uh, with Jake's story? Maybe, I don't know. Like, my wife was killed with the yeah, man in the yellow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that? I don't remember about <laughs> I think that. It happened it might, they might not have written it already. <laughs> that moment was so funny. Yeah. I love that, because it was just chaos in that uh, room until he. <laughs> uh, I like your show. This show's a lot of fun. It's so much fun. The weakest fun. part of this whole episode for me was the Gina stuff. I didn't really care about her dance troupe and stuff. Yeah. You know? Gina's then, humor just doesn't hit me. Honestly, a lot of that segment really made me confused because I'm like, but they were fucking handing out boxes of shit. When were they stealing Jake's stuff? Yeah. You know, I'm like, I don't that's know how this all planning. worked out. Because they kept cutting back and forth to them working and doing that. Where I'm like, okay, well, that's where they are. Yeah. But then they cut back to that and I'm like, well, how the hell were they there and there? And how were Hitchcock and Scully so good at being bears and stealing his shit? I mean, it seems to me like there are people that, and I feel like I'm in the middle, but there's people that love Gina stuff or hate Gina stuff. Like, I don't mind it. But I've never like loved it, you know. But it, it, it's it's very like it's either that kind of that style of humor hits you or it doesn't. Yeah, you know. There's a few t- there's a few episodes where I'm like I really like Gina in this episode. Yeah. But for the most part, I'm like I don't need her. Like <laughs> you she's know? you know she's you know the way that she feels about her job versus the way that she feels about college. She's taking that very seriously, and then yeah. the dance stuff is also serious. But she might be using that as a form of humor to cover up her insecurity about I'm an adult going to college, you know. But yeah, the I don't know. Sometimes the humor hits me, but sometimes most I like often or not. Bad humor. Yeah, like bad humor is it's, terrible and it makes you angry. Yeah, like hers, I'm just kind of neutral to. Like, it's it not kinda takes the my wind style. Out of the scene. Yeah, I get you. And but that kind of helps it too. I feel like because it gives it a little breather. Yeah. To where Hope can just get, get me again later. Sure. And it by comparison gets me even harder. Yeah. Because yeah. like you had a moment where like that uh, wasn't as funny for you, and then it cuts back to that, and then it just. Makes you laugh so much. Yeah, but I mean, she's also had moments that just made me laugh, like whenever they were doing all those puns about STDs, and she was just like, yeah, craps, or something like that. That, was, that stuff was funny, and that hits me. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, as soon as, because I wasn't sure which episode Halloween was, but as soon as I saw the decorations in the first frame, I immediately was like, <gasps> it's here. <laughs> and, I mean, we're, we're actually recording this in October, so it kind of works. Yeah, it's being released in October. Yeah. So, it works there, too. It does. Good time. All right. Next time. Bye-bye. Next Halloween. <gasps> Thank you guys for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You can get ahead. Watch up to four weeks uh, early access over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can check out Raw Rider there as well, where you can see the uncut reaction. Yeah. We are watching this on Hulu if you're trying to sync it up. So, go check it out. Patreon.com slash blindwave. Is that what makes the Raw Rider part of it?